everybody, welcome. It's Vegas week, baby. Woohoo! I'm excited. We are in Las Vegas, and we are going to be showing you in this video our room. We got a suite in the Ruby Tower at the Virgin Hotels here in Las Vegas. We've never been to this hotel, never been to Las Vegas before, um, and we did get a suite in this Ruby Tower. It's super bougie. So we're gonna do a full room tour, show you what this room's all about. And I have to say, I am impressed by the room yeah. so far. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, for this section, I'm recording this on my phone because they say they don't really like you to have big vlogging rigs when you're in the hotel. They said, but if you're just recording on like your cell phone, um, it's perfectly fine. So we're gonna do this on just the cell phone and we'll take some pictures, we'll do some video. So the quality and the audio may not be nearly as good as normal, so just bear with me, but you gotta see this hotel, it's so awesome. All right, so here we are at the special VIP Ruby Tower entrance right here. Um, it's different than the main entrance. You can see right here the casino, so straight ahead. Uh, lots of different stuff in the casino. We'll go over there in just a minute, but I wanted to show where we actually go in at. Look at this VIP area. It says special invited guests right here. Look how cute this room is. You know, it's like a little like pink couch right here. We're gonna have to get a selfie on that. It's really cool. And then they've got. Uh, I don't know, something else here. I don't know what this is. And then there's a VIP lounge right there. Let's see what else. Let's just do a walk through this. You can see the ruby elevators right here. Special elevator bank takes us up to our room. All right, let's head on into the hotel room. Look how cool this is. It's very retro. I love the style of this entire hotel. You can sort of see like the, the hallway here and look at the little sign on the door. Plus, we've been staying in some bougie hotels lately. They have doorbells. So let's see if Candy lets us in. Ding dong. Oh, I heard it. Ha ha. Okay. Check this, check out this room. Again, this is a suite. This is not the standard size room. Um, right when you first walk in, there's a nice little foyer here. There's some places to put your, um, you know, you can hang some things up here. They've got iron, they've got an ironing board. They have some more places, storage and things like that. They have this cute little vanity right here. Kenny, do you want to show us, show us the vanity, show it off? It's even got plugs here. You got USB ports, ta-da cool little vanity <laughs> she's excited about that um, but it's got lights does it have lights what's this yeah oh, yeah. oh it's getting even better yeah so we've got um, USB ports and things you can plug stuff in curling irons whatever um, more storage here more places to hang you've got an in-room safe and this is the living room check this living room out look how cool it is very retro style isn't it is that what you would call it retro Retro chic. What's this orange couch made of? Oh, it's kind of like felt. I don't know. I'm not good with materials. It's got this cool little thing. It's actually got a mini bar here. Um, fully stocked mini bar. I will say, I don't know what these things are. I see that there's a romance kit right there and it says it's $69 in that little box. I don't know what's in that box. Whale tusks or something? I'm not sure, 69 bucks. Uh, we won't be touching that because we're not going to pay 69 bucks for whatever's in that. Um, cool little chairs and seating area over here. And then check out this view. We got an awesome view. Again, this is a suite, but you can see the strip right over here. Uh, straight ahead, there's the strip. And so the hotel's just right off the strip. There's the Las Vegas sphere. We're going to be going to that a little bit later. I'm excited about it. Um, I see a little eyeball on there but you can see all the different hotels on the strip. So we're off the strip about, what, maybe a block or so. It's definitely walkable. Um, they have this like really huge 
you can't really see it that great here, but this is all like a beach. There's like a whole like beachfront created here with water. There's a bunch of cabanas. Apparently this is like a big party area. Um, it's not open right now because I guess it's only open in the summer. And this is kind of the off season, but um, it looks like it would be really cool here in the summer. Ooh, I see an airplane coming in there, coming in hot. Okay, so there's also the bedroom. And it does have door that closes. So you can close off the bedroom if you want to for some reason. I don't know why, but if you wanted to. Um, and this is the bedroom. It's got this cool little, like, what is that, a shade? Chase, chase lounge? I don't know how you say that. More awesome views. These little tables, nightstands, and look at this bed. Look how cool this bed is. Look at it. I don't know what's going on there. I guess it's just decorative. It kind of looks like a chair that should come out, but it doesn't. It's just decoration. But it's a really cool looking bed. Kind of looks like neat little art stuff on the walls. Um, and then, oh, and I forgot to show you. There is an awesome TV on the wall right here. And then this takes you back into the living room and again, another door. And there's a TV on that wall too. And then this is the bathroom, which does have a curtain that you can close and a door. So if you need privacy, you can do that. And it's got the double sink here with the mirror that all lights up. The mirror's all lit up. And then it has the stand-up shower, this awesome like marble. And then it has this awesome soap tub. Like it's got the tub and the stand-up shower. And then it has a separate water closet. Yes, I said water closet because that's what it said on the light switch. But I don't know why it's called water closet. Toilet, whatever, bathroom. So there you go. So this, this place is awesome. I mean, just look how cool this is. The double sink is really nice. There's all kind of good stuff here. Uh, what does this say on the door here? There was a fantastic universal sense that whatever we were doing was right. That we were winning. Huh. That's cool. So I just love this room. Uh, it's got nice little like light fixtures up here. Lots of lights, lots of plugs. It's a very connected room for sure. Um, which I feel like is lost a lot of times. Having that sort of connected. Oh, it does. Yeah. It says our name right there. My name, Charles Noble. That's my first name, but I go by Steve. Um, that's my middle name. So yeah, this is just such a nice room. Again, it's a suite. Um, so it's it's a little bit it's bigger than the standard room, but if you're interested the prices on the suite weren't that bad I think they were like 300 to three 300 to 400 a night depending um, On which one you you go for and we are in the Ruby Tower. So because we're in the Ruby Tower um, Apparently the Ruby Tower is like where all this like nice cool suites and stuff are so there's actually like a separate ensign entrance for the Ruby Tower. There's a separate concierge. There's a separate check-in. There's a, a separate elevator bank that just takes us only up here. We have to go through that area. And there's like couches and all this cool stuff. It makes you feel like you're kind of like walking into like a royalty area. Like you're like, I felt like a high roller kind of walking into this area, um, even though we're really not. But um, yeah, I, it was kind of cool. The Ruby Tower. Ooh, look, I just noticed down here. See that down there underneath the couch? More plugs and USB cords, ports. They're all over the place. I'm telling you, this, this room is like totally connected. Like it's like everywhere you would want to go. There's different thermostats too, I noticed. There's a thermostat over there on the wall. There's another one over here, which actually has a different temperature on it. So it looks like this bedroom has a separate thermostat and air unit than the living room. Cause that one's set on 70. And I saw that the one here in the living room was set on 65. So that's how bougie this hotel room is, is that there is different areas for the thermostat. So yeah, pretty bougie. Um, I'm loving this hotel so far. So far I'm very impressed. So that's the room tour. Do you like the room? What do you say? What I do you think? I love it. You a fan? You, you, you happy we got fan. this room? You impressed? Yes. I'm, I'm happy just for the manatee. We're gonna be here a while, so um, we were like, we should get a, we should get a nice room. So uh, we got the suite, and Happy. I'm glad we did. It's big. Yeah. It's actually really nice. Um, so I don't know if we're allowed to record inside the hotel. Um, I would like to show some of the hotel off because it's really, really pretty in here. Um, if we can't, maybe I'll just throw some pictures up um, and kind of talk about it. So we're gonna go back at. So we'll go outside 
Um, we'll go down to the lobby. We'll check some stuff out because there is a casino in the hotel. I mean, every by the way, Vegas. We've never been to Vegas before. As soon as we walked off the plane, there was a casino in my face. Literally. Like they're trying to get right you off right the off the plane. plane. I mean, everywhere just casino stuff. Yeah. I mean, I knew they, I knew there was a lot of casino stuff, but I didn't know it was like that. And I've never gambled, so I'm like. I felt like there was gonna be a casino <laughs> in our car, like on the bus, be- like the shuttle bus. I thought there would be like a casino in there. So. Um, yeah, let's go see. We'll see if we can get some shots of the actual hotel because it's absolutely amazing, which you're not really usually allowed to record inside casinos. Um, so I'm going to ask the concierge. I'm going to ask about, is there any, are you allowed to record at all? Is there any, like, limitations, any areas you can't record? Um, or can we only do pictures? So if we can only do pictures, we'll try that. Um, and we'll talk about the pictures and what we saw so you can get a little glimpse of the hotel. But, um uh, I don't know, let's see what happens. Here's another entrance into the Ruby Tower, and then there's a escalator. I have no idea where that goes. We'll find out. Um, they have this like night plus market. What's this say? Something drinking food? What is that word? I have that. What? I don't know what that is. T H A L, Thou? Thai? I don't know, whatever. It's pretty cool though. It's not open at the moment. But, um,. I do know that you get, um, they give you a bunch of vouchers when you check in as a room guest. And in the, I think that any room guest, not just the VIP, um, it says that you get a, buy, you have a bunch of buy one, get one free vouchers for alcoholic drinks, sodas, whatever. Um, we got a little store right here. And then we're back over to the entrance. This is the casino, that's where you get your money. There's a bunch of casino stuff right here. Slots, high roller. I see high high roller tables over there, and they have a steakhouse right here, which is I think only open for dinner because it's not open right now, or maybe it's just not open because it's between lunch and dinner. Supposedly it's pretty good steakhouse though. Wow, this casino really goes back here. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's huge. More slots over here. I'm seeing uh, the actual like poker tables and stuff back here though. Lots of tables. Uh, okay, we made it over to the main entrance. This is where we actually came in the first time. Uh, we did, we were able to check in here, but then they just had us go over to the Ruby area. So this is like the main check-in area. But I guess because we got the suite, they had us go over once we checked in um, to the special check-in area for the Ruby. But this is sort of like the main entrance. Ooh, I see pink box donuts outside, like a, a billboard for it. I really want to try that while we're here. So we're definitely gonna have to give that a go. Right here in the main entrance, there's a, I think it's called a Commons Club Bar. Yeah, so it's like a little bar. Right here it says Commons Club. I'm guessing that's what that is. I don't know what this is. This is part of the, I think it's part of like the lounge bar over here. There's a cool piano over there. Um, but they have all these like swanky, like private things back here. And there's something here called the photo booth. I don't know what the photo booth is, but it's not active right now. But I want to hang out with the photo booth. I want a photo. Yeah, just check this out. Look at this. It's like bougie VIP area. What is this? Oh, there's a stage over there. I see it. Okay, I did see on the front there's a bunch of different entertainment. So this must be the nightly entertainment. It did say there was open mic night tonight. So maybe I'll get up on the stage and we'll do a little song, a little dance. We'll get one of these like VIP bougie little couches. Yeah, that's probably not really happening. All right, I see a sign here that says the theater. And then there's another one right here that says the theater. Scan for complete lineup. And then there's doors down there. I have no idea what that is. The theater. I don't know. It's like shows or movies or what? I don't know. There's a store right here called Swag. Which looks like it has swag in it. Las Vegas swag. Maybe some virgin swag. Fifth and Sunset luxury eyewear. Brookstone. Oh, let's talk more ice cream shop. I don't. Oh no, it looks like it's open. I thought. I thought it didn't look like it was open for a minute. I was like, uh, is it not open? But I think it is open because there's somebody back there. Oh, I want to see what kind of ice cream they have. Candy's definitely gonna be hitting this ice cream up. Ooh, yum. They have lots of cool flavors. Milkshakes, ice cream bars. Good. And here's the Mexican restaurant, Casa or Casa, 
Calavera. Ooh, I want to get a picture on that. Thank you. That's, 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 a, that's a cool photo op. Maybe if we eat there, we'll get a picture. That's cool. So it's a Mexican restaurant here, which actually looks really cool in there. That looks neat. Okay, we're definitely gonna eat there. Get a shot of the inside of this Mexican restaurant. And then down here, Duff My Eyes deceive me? I see Dunkin' Donuts. I think Dunkin' Donuts are some of the worst donuts in history, if I'm being totally honest, but um, they do have good coffee good ice drinks yeah there's definitely a Dunkin Donuts right there full Dunkin Donuts with donuts and drinks um, and then what else they got here another store that looks like elevators just to like the regular rooms Canyon rooms Wow this really goes down here holy cow oh there's a convention center there so a convention hall I have no idea where this goes I see parking ahead um, and something called the manor what is this a restaurant or something some sort of like cafe you know what I bet oh I bet I know what this is so this is part of the convention center it looks like yeah that's like a check-in area maybe a food area for uh, convention guests if you're having a convention oh I just saw the outside we got to go out there I want to check out the outside it looks really cool Hey, look, the canyon elevators have a canyon decoration. Oh, look, there's like a car. All right, we're headed to the resort pool here. I'm gonna check it out. Whoa, it's bright out. Woo! Oh, look, there's a cool little patio for the Mexican restaurant. That's super cute. Man, even the pool area just looks awesome. This is awesome. Here's our hotel. Yeah. Now we're on the other side of, you can't see our room because we're on the other side. Our, 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 um, our room actually faces the Vegas Strip. Look at this, they got a cool bar right here. Like lounge area. I don't know what all that greenery is over. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. Let's see if we can get in the pool here. We're in. And the pool looks awesome. Hey, it's actually got sand. The pool has like sand that goes into the water. Wow, that's yeah, nice. Well, they have cabanas, it looks like. Uh, I wonder if they're first come, first serve, or if you have to actually rent them. I can't tell. But it looks nice. Oh, nice. Man, look at this water. I mean, just look at all this like lounginess here. This place is nice. But yeah, look at this sand right here. The sand just goes right into the water. And you can like sit on these like chairs. You can get in the water. The sand's all in the water. Like it's complete sand. Um, that's pretty cool. I can't decide it. Yeah, okay, it is actually a pool. Like it's concrete. I can see where the sand actually runs out. So the whole bottom is not sand. But man, this is a cool pool. It's nice. Yeah, I'm actually curious. I want to see if the water is heated or not. Uh, it doesn't really feel heated. I feel like it feels cool. But it honestly it doesn't feel freezing though. And it's only like 75 degrees out, so I can't tell. There's an empty cabana right here. I feel like this is like you pay for this cabana. I mean, it has a TV, a fridge, a, uh, a, um, a safe. I'm going to assume you rent these. Yeah, because otherwise I feel like people would be in this. No question. Looks like they got something else up here. What's this say? Please see Cassie Beach House for reservations. So they have these little like mini cabanas here that you can reserve too so i'm gonna guess those cost money too and it's nice so there's another restaurant here called the cassie beach house i think that's what it says 
Tennessee Beach House, which also has outdoor seating. Man, and by the way, the outdoor seating looks very nice. What's those little, we got little private rooms? What's this? What in the, what in the, what is all that? What are we at Halloween Horror Nights all of a sudden? I don't know what that is. That's funny. Look, you can see them in there. Monsters. I don't know why. Well, so now that we've had a little bit of a chance to kind of walk around the hotel, what do you think? Um, I think it's really cute. I love the retro vibe. It's not really retro outside. It's just like desert, beachy vibe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's really cute though. I think the pool's really cute. It's funny, the sand goes into the pool a little bit. I don't know how that'll be. It seems interesting and I touched the water. It was warm, so I'm glad about that. I'll be here tomorrow. Looks like they got a pizza place too. Pizza Forte. Ooh, what is this? I want to check this pizza place out. So it looks like it's like ready-made pizza. It's kind of like Sbarro where you just kind of grab a slice and go. Oh yeah, man, that looks good. It's like New York style pizza. I wonder if you can probably actually, yeah, you can make your own pizza too. I see that. You can, you can actually order your own pizza and make your pizzas. What's this? Kitchen Common Club. Man, there's a ton of restaurants here. What they got there? I see chicken and waffles though, and steak and eggs. Hope you enjoyed this so far. Leave us comments below. Let us know if there's things in Vegas you think we need to see. Because we don't really know much. I'd love to get some people's advice on things that we need to do. Um, and tell us what you think about Vegas. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Until we see you next time, the Noble Way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.